Hi, this is Moon Lin. I'm an independent musical artist out of Toronto. I write erotic and passionate alternative songs. And you're listening to Len Amsterdam Radio. Stay tuned. Name this country performer. Born in the state of Georgia, October 17th, 1958. This blonde, blue-eyed cowboy's favorite food is pineapple and mayonnaise sandwiches. Favorite movie, The Outlaw, Josie Wales. He met his wife Denise in the Dairy Queen in his 55 Thunderbird. His big break came when his wife Denise, a flight attendant, met up with Glenn Campbell in an airport. Glenn gave Denise his business card to have this performer get in contact with his publishing company. July 12th has been named after this artist in Nashville. Who is this performer? That would be Mr. Don't Rock the Jukebox, Mr. Alan Jackson. Len Amsterdam, broadcasting from Canada. This is Tim Brummett, singer-songwriter from Spokane, Washington, keeping them simple and singing them pretty. And you're listening to the Land Amsterdam Show. Okay, we've got uh, Tom Anders, uh, Canadian poet, in with us today. Uh, Tom, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? I've been writing poetry for the last six years full-time. My first full-length book of poetry has just come out called A Different Shred of Skin. 
had a little bit of difficulty finding a publisher in Canada for it, so this one was actually published out of Detroit. We had it printed up here in Canada. I, I sold um, many American publishers can butcher the best of books down in the States, so I said to the American publisher, maybe if I could get a quote from our best printing house in Toronto. Um, and when I came back with the price, <laughs> He said, is that in American dollars? I said, no, that's in Canadian dollars. And so we brought business up this side of the border instead of always going south of the border. Now, being in the Canadian, why is it you have to even go to the States to, to find a publisher? It's so difficult being an artist in Canada. It seems you don't get any recognition until um, you're accepted either in Europe or in the United States. I'm not in Paris. Here the pigeons are friendly. Grass still grows. Cars can park for free. One bank serves the town and a cafe is just opened, leaving many citizens grumbling. The roads are paved, not cobbled. Gas is cheap at Rob's Garage and the liquor store is doors away from that bank. There's a seasonal pizza house that serves the community. No subways to speak of. Art Nouveau is foreign, as toll painting is found in niche. The Legion won't allow turbans, so I don't go to the Legion. Gossip is entertainment and the post office doubles for a central station of blessed skewed information. You know, it's tough to say, but I'm kind of glad I'm not in Paris. I'm T. Anders Carson, Canadian poet, and you're tuned in to Pepper Scott.
from Canada. Got some breaking news here. Seems the Fabulous Four are a big hit on the extra terrestrial airwaves. Hey Mook, what do you think of Bunny? I agree with you. She's a hot chick on Earth too. What's up my man Avatar? So how far can Avatar go with the man that can, Mr. Rick Bone? I certainly agree with you there. Rick Bone is a cat that can play a mean guitar. And how about you, Drive Externo? <coughs> what do you think of DJ Vonnie's down home sense of humor? <coughs> Vonnie cracks me up too. So what do you uh, outer space cats and kittens think when uh, Len Amsterdam gets up to the mic? <laughs> 